record, just randomly get a gun and go shoot a cop at Walmart. Wandering around like a zombie. It's the drugs, ladies and gentlemen, and it's going to continue. I mean, look at our current issue. Modern day Maryland. And it's all about the war on women with psychotropics and more. It's got pills raining down from the sky on the cover of the new issue of the magazine, the April issue. Now, I want to go to this press conference. We're going to have more of it on the nightly news tonight. Um, but here, here is Kit Daniels asking the questions uh, about 15 feet from the commanding general of Fort Hood, Mark Milley, uh, lieutenant general. And then we're going to get a uh, further uh, breakdown from Jakari Jackson and Kit Daniels. Here's the press conference. How much indication do you have about premeditation here? Was, was there anything tied to yeah, ask about premeditation. Something going on at this building? Uh, I do not know, and that'll be part of the investigation. I did not say his rank nor his name, and I'll do that when his family is appropriately notified. It's Ivan Lopez. Sir, so you said he came from another installation. Are you able to tell us which one that is? Um, at this time, uh, I prefer not. He was undergoing uh, behavioral health and psychiatric treatment uh, for depression uh, and anxiety. There are reports. Uh, I don't know if he was diagnosed in the clinical sense. There are reports that he uh, self-reported uh, a uh, traumatic brain injury previously coming back from the Iraq. Was uh, he on any sort of medications? He was on medications, that's correct. Like SSRIs or antidepressants, anything of that nature? Yes. Was the uh, FBI already on the scene due to the uh, alert that they gave out about on Monday regarding a possible mass shooting? Uh, we have a uh, local FBI liaison officer, Okay. Uh, but no, large FBI you know, assets were not here. Okay. Um, uh, they are actually inbound to help with the investigation. All of the wounded and killed were military. General, the female officer who engaged him, how would you describe what she did today? So it's clearly heroic uh, what she did uh, at that moment in time, and, and uh, she did her job, and she did exactly what we would expect of the United States Army military police. What are your thoughts on Colonel Carrie Concealer? Uh, you're not allowed to carry Do you think that should change? Uh, no, I don't think so. We should have concealed weapons on both members. We have law enforcement agents. Uh, we're trained professionals. Didn't I stop him from having a gun, did it? How long did it take for the law enforcement to reach the scene? Uh, it was within minutes. Within minutes. The exact time, probably 10 to 15, maybe. So back. you're saying that we should have concealed weapons, but it still takes 10 to 15 minutes for law enforcement to even reach the scene? What's your comments on that? I think the law enforcement acted very rapidly uh, and swiftly, uh, given the nature of the circumstances. I understand that, but there's still people yeah, that have died. In the debate. Uh, oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, he, he can't get into debate because they've turned military bases in the last 20 years into victim disarmament zones. And obviously, if you live on the base, you should be able to have a firearm. It's like not letting pilots have guns in the cockpit when they did before 9-11. They took them away right before that, strangely enough. You're going to trust them with a giant weapon that goes 600 miles an hour that can take you know, out thousands of people on the ground, but they can't have a gun? I mean, this is, this is a load of bull. And it's about government and police having the monopoly of force. Most police... Uh, and John Bound, what was that you just played uh, on air? Because I'm confused. Uh, that was the announcement on the base. Oh. Yeah, just showing that martial law... Uh, and no one can be armed. And and you're on air right now, right? Yes, I am. Okay, good, good. Okay, so, yeah, okay, well, that's powerful. I wish we, I didn't know we had that clip. Uh, play that again for me. Yes, sir. Yeah, I can't really tell what's going on there. Very interesting. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, let's go now to Jakari Jackson. Uh, and Kit, guys, uh, other comments uh, uh, concerning the shooting and uh, the fact that I want to say good job asking the real question, was he under psychiatric care? Was he on drugs? Yes. And the press conferences, as you know, you guys have the raw footage, have been going on for a long time. People are not asking the real questions. It's ridiculous. It was mainly a worship fest about, oh, what a great job you did, you know, stopping this guy. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And, you know, uh, kudos to Kit. You know, he was able to get down in there low and ask uh, the real questions. And I was just so surprised how upfront the general was when he said, you know, was he on psychiatric drugs? Was he on the uh, the SSRIs? He just said yes, which I at least, you know, give him credit for admitting that. I wasn't 
expecting to get that. That's why you got to ask it up front before the feds come in and say, hey, let's not bring that up. Yeah. Because that's what they usually do, and then it comes out six months later. Mm -hmm. So uh, what are your thoughts about that, Kit? Well, uh, when I was about 12 years old, I was diagnosed with an anxiety disorder, and I was put on multiple SSRIs. So I know the dangers that they can do. I remember when I was about 14, uh, a doctor tried to force me to take medication, which was an SSRI. So I took a piece of bubble gum and stuck it behind my front teeth. So when I opened my mouth, he thought I actually took it because I knew, I knew what it would do to me. It turned me into a zombie. But unfortunately, the mainstream media, they're not going to focus on the dangers of these drugs. They are going to attack the Second Amendment, and they are going to try to push for universal background checks and to, for, mentally, for mental illness. But the thing is, the DSM-5, which psychologists use to diagnose mental disorders, there's, it's so broad that anything, anyone could be diagnosed with mental disorder. So universal background checks under the guise of mental issues, mental disorders, it just leads to gun confiscation. Well, listen, I remember in sixth grade about the 10th time kids that had flunked three grades were beating me up, and I would fight back and mm -hmm. push one of them over, and he had to go to the hospital. They called my parents in. They said, we want to put your son on Ritalin and, and maybe some other drugs. And my dad's like, you're the one. My son's being attacked by all your gang members. He's done nothing wrong. No, I'm not putting him on drugs. And then the same thing continued to happen. Drug your son because he, he stands up for himself. Yeah, and the thing about it was is, you know, you trust these guys just like you said to go out there and fight for their country. They're, they're trained in firearms, proficient in firearms. But then they say that you can't carry your own firearm on, on base. And as Kit pointed out, that even with a police presence, on the base, uh, they, they only had, uh, what, 15 minutes for a response time? 10, 15 minutes? You know, so that, it's not a very... The average police response time is 12 minutes. Yeah, so, I mean, even in a place where they have a monopoly on force, they can't even use that force to protect themselves. Absolutely. Well, that's it. Exactly. And, and, and now, Paul Watson wrote the article, should we disarm the whole military? Because with the people, they say if somebody commits a crime, we're all guilty. Right. Well, then disarm the military. We're going to be right back. I want to continue to break down this press conference and the fact that he was on drugs. When you need it the most, will your generator, power equipment, or vehicle be ready? Gas and diesel fuels go bad quickly when stored, and more than half of generator failures during disasters occur as a result of expired fuel. PRI fuel stabilizers keep your fuel fresh for when you need it most. Nuclear power stations, emergency service providers, and ships at sea rely on PRI fuel stabilizers. And you can too. Call 888-776-9373 or visit PRIproducts.com to find the dealer nearest you. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. It's time for a home security quiz. What effective home security device is smaller than a coffee cup, fakes out burglars into thinking someone is home at your house while you're away, plugs into any wall outlet, is recommended by many police departments, and sells for less than $30? Yes, it's fake TV. This year, about one in every 50 U.S. homes will have a break-in, with burglars usually picking the easy target, a dark house that looks like no one is home. Fake TV is a small electronic security device that makes it look like someone is home watching TV by simulating the light from a real TV. Fake TV could be the difference between coming home to a secure house or one that's been ransacked. To get your fake TV for only $29.95 with free shipping, go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. 
rates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Man thinks cause he rules at us, he can do with it as he please. And if things don't change soon, he will. Oh, man. By the way, I want to show you here if you're a TV viewer at uh, PrisonPlanet.tv uh, the Ambien. How many pages is this? 20 something page uh, adverse reactions and side effects. Abnormal thinking and behavioral problems, 5.3. Bizarre behavior, agitation, depersonalization. And then it just it just goes on. Violent behavior, suicide attempts, abnormal thinking. I want to get back to our reporters, but because this would take a long time to read all all uh, 22 pages. Abnormal thoughts, behavior, symptoms include more outgoing and aggressive behavior than normal, confusion, agitation, hallucinations, worsening of depression, and suicidal thoughts or actions. And I mean, every one of these drugs is in the hallucinogen family, and. You put people on hallucinogens, they're going to have a bad trip. Uh, sleepwalking, and, and, and you add it to violent behavior, I call that sleep killing. And the general public's already in a trance-like state. These people are literally zombie killers. And somebody makes them mad, and they snap, and they kill 18 villagers in Afghanistan, and we give them, you know, 50 years in prison. When the person admittedly said, I didn't know who I was. Guy had served four tours, had part of his foot blown off, had a prosthesis, and they made him go back. Automatic re-up, Sergeant Bales, and then he snapped when they put him on a bunch of medication because he was in an IED attack and his buddy got killed. So they put him on a bunch of new drugs, and he flipped out and killed people, and he's going to be in a military prison forever because we can't admit it's the drugs. We can't ever admit it's the drugs. Because the answer to just more drugs. So you have, you're taking this pill and you now you have this side effect. So now let's give you this pill. Let's give you this pill to counteract that pill. It's all about the pills. You know, instead of giving these guys real treatment and trying to really help them in, you know, whatever area that they need it, it's just say, take this drug, take more drugs. That's the answer. I, I mean, it, you know, if my son has allergies and has trouble sleeping, the medical doctor says, maybe send, you put him on drugs. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have a car wreck now, they say, well, you're depressed, put you on drugs. Right. You know, it's not your diet, it's not your life, it's not that you're getting enough exercise, it's not that you're getting GMOs. Mm -hmm. No, you need drugs that make you kill people. That's it. That's exactly it. And this ties back into the war on drugs, because if you and me were to take illegal drugs that are hallucinogens, we get thrown in jail. But if we are prescribed hallucinogens that are FDA approved, well, that's okay. As long as Big Pharma gets its profits. Yeah, if you get your, uh, get your drugs from a reputable dealer, a guy in a white lab coat, then that's perfectly fine. I'd never been allergic to bees, and then I was in college digging out an area for my parents put a garden in, they were paying me to do it, and I was hoeing the ground up, and, and a group of uh, aggressive bees, I, I probably got stung 15 times, and they were gone. It was during the day on a Saturday. I went in, took a shower, put baking soda on me. The throat started shrinking up, was about to call an ambulance, but kind of the only time in my life almost had like a hallucination. And I felt like I was on, you know, cloud nine or something. And that's what I'm told it feels like when you're on these drugs. I mean, I could have done anything when those bees attacked me. Yeah. I mean, I was out of my mind high off their poison. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've never taken these drugs myself, so I can't speculate to the effects. But I, I definitely realize that because you see all these mass killers. They say, oh, I thought I was in a video game. I thought I was in some type of action movie. I, you know, it's almost like a, a Looney Tunes cartoon, you know? Like you shoot the guy and his, his face gets all smoky and then he's fine 10 seconds later. That's what these guys think when they take these drugs. No, I dated some women before I got married uh, who, who, were, who were on them. And I mean, it, these people were out of their minds. And I'd known some of them before they got on them. And I'm not attacking people that are, you know, on this stuff. And I'm sure for somebody it might actually help them. But statistically, it's Russian roulette.
And I don't think we should put hardcore combat killers on them. Yeah, and that, if the insert says it'll make you do that. And that, that's the whole point, Alex, because uh, and most people probably don't have.